All right, good evening, boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at applying triangle sum properties. So a lot of stuff in here in this chapter. We're going to start it right off here in section 4.1. Triangle sum theorem and the exterior angle theorem. Triangle sum theorem just says that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So all three angles on the inside always, always, always add up to 180. Now the exterior angle theorem, this one's a little bit more confusing sometimes for people because the exterior angle is, in this case, where angle 1 is located. So if you take these two angles right here along the outside, A and B, if you add them up, they're going to give you, their value will be the value of angle 1. Now let's take a look and see what that looks like here in practice. We're going to find the measure of angle JKM. So first, let's figure out where that angle is. JKM is going to be this piece right here. So I want to make sure when I'm done, I find that angle right there. Now, using the exterior angle theorem, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this piece where these two angles right here are going to add up to my exterior angle. So there's two different ways you could set it up. We'll just go ahead and set it up this way where the 2x minus 5 is going to be equal to angle J and angle L which is just x plus 70. Now a bunch of different ways you can start this. We're going to go ahead and subtract x on both sides. So I'm going to have x minus 5 equals 70 and then when I add 5 I'm going to end up with x equals 75. So that is my value of x. All right, but I am not done because it said find the measure of angle JKM. So I'm going to have to take that x and put it back in to find the value of JKM. So when we do that, measure of angle JKM is going to be 2 times 75 minus 5. 2 times 75 is 150 minus 5. So the measure of angle JKM, that is going to be 145. And then don't forget the degree symbol. So that's it for example 2. Hopefully you got that one. Now example 3, this one's going to get a little bit more interesting because there's a couple different ways you could approach this. Now here for this one, now we've got to find example 1. And there's two different ways that we can do this. Here's one of them. All right. If I already know that 5x minus 10, that angle is going to be the sum of the other two angles, 40 and 3x. So I can write that equation. 5x minus 10 is going to be equal to 3x plus 40. Now again, I'm going to solve this for x. So I'll have 2x minus 10 equals 40. And then when I add 10 to both sides, I'll get 2x equals 50. And dividing, we get x equals 25. So that's the value of x. Now, there's two different ways that you can come up with the measure of angle 1. One of them is to plug in x for 3x. So if I do that, then this angle right here, 3x, that's going to have a value of 3 times 25 is 75. So that angle is going to be 75. So what I could do, one technique, would be just use the triangle sum theorem. All three angles on the interior of a, of a triangle, they all add up to 180. So I know if one of them is 40, another one is 75, and then this measure of angle 1, that's the one I don't know. If I add all that up, I get 180. Now, 40 and 75, that's 115 plus a measure of angle 1. That gives me 180. And then when I subtract, I end up with a measure of angle 1. is just 180 minus 115 is 65 degrees. Now, I always want to double check that. If I take 40 and 75 and 65 and add all of those up, do I get... 180? I sure do. Now, that's one way you could get it, but sometimes people might look over here at the 5x minus 10. And if they would have plugged in uh, x being 25 for that, 5 times 25 gives me 125 minus 10. So this angle right here 
would have been 115 degrees. Now if that angle is 115, then angle 1 plus the 115, that should have a sum of 180 because they would be a linear pair. So that's another way you could think about it. 180 minus 115 gives me the measure of angle 1. So when I do that, I get 65 degrees again for the measure of angle 1. So there's two different ways you could do that. It's totally, totally, totally up to you. You just have to go with whichever one you see and which makes more sense for your brain and then go ahead and do that way. That's it. Now, I think you guys got this. This example 2 and example 3, I think you're rolling with this. So go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back because now we've only got one more example to do. Let's take a look at example number 4 now. Now, here's an interesting piece, and some people already kind of intuitively know this, the corollary to the triangle sum theorem. Now, what this says here is that the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So, a lot of times when you're looking at a diagram of a triangle, people look at all three angles, and their first instinct is, well, all three of them add up to 180, which is very true. That's one of our math facts. But, you could take the two acute angles in a right triangle, add them up, and just set them equal to 90. So when we go to set up this equation, instead of doing the equation 2x plus x minus 6 plus 90 equals 180, what we can do is just go ahead and use the corollary to the triangle sum theory to set up an equation that would look like this. 2x plus x minus 6 equals 90. Now, 2x and x, that gives me 3x minus 6 equals 90. 3x gives me 96. And then when I divide both sides by 3, I end up with 32 for x. Now, my question says find the measure of the acute angles in the diagram shown. So I've got to find the measure of the 2x angle and the x minus 6. So to find each of the acute angles, all we're going to do is just plug in x. So 2 times x, so 2 times 32, that's going to give us a grand total of 64. And then the x minus 6 angle, when I go ahead and do 20 or 32 minus 6, I end up with 26. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to double check, make sure that those add up to 90. So if I do that, the sum of the two angles is 90. So that means I did my arithmetic correctly, and that's it. Man, peace out. I'm done with this stuff, man. This is so easy. I got triangle stuff all day, man. You guys got this stuff. All right, you have a great day, and I'll catch up with you later. See ya.